to Marathon Recon, a mile-by-mile -mile preview of the LA Marathon. I'm Martise Moore, your Run Faster coach, and today we're running mile 23, and I have the pleasure of running with Lori today. And look, it's legit mile 23. They just put this on the road. So we're gonna get we're gonna get started. Lori is running the LA Marathon again this year, so we're gonna hear all about her experiences on this mile. But right now, it's pretty flat. Uh, you just finished going up the last uphill of the race. So we're still in Brentwood, but we're headed towards Santa Monica at this time. So Lori, tell us about your experiences on this mile in the past. Well, like you said, this is the plateau of the last hill, thank goodness. <laughs> um, in the past, my club, Run in VR, had a tent at the very top. And so I knew once I was getting to Brentwood, I was getting closer and closer to my club. Uh -huh. So of course I couldn't walk. Uh -huh. So <laughs> you gotta run to that tent. And so it was really awesome because all I was thinking, okay, just get to my club, just get to my club. Uh -huh. And as soon as I saw them, it's like I just got a new bout of energy. Oh, nice. And it was like, okay, it's all downhill. Uh -huh. I know San Vicente, it's my home. Uh -huh. That's where I run every Sunday. Uh -huh. And so I knew, couple more miles and I could just stop running right. and I can be done. So what's the name of your club? My club is Run in the R. Uh -huh. uh, Run Bernina Del Rey. Uh -huh. We're just off of Washington, really close to Venice. Uh -huh. Beautiful running course. Uh -huh. And how often do you run with them? Um, as much as my schedule allows. Mostly Wednesday nights uh -huh. and then Sunday mornings we have a really awesome group that's been training. We've got some training for Boston, some training for the Mounts to Beach, uh -huh. and then a couple of us training for LA. We run together every Sunday. Okay, so what are some of the things that they have in the tent for you besides um, like cheering? they have any goodies or water? I think last or... year it was just a tent. Uh -huh. This year they're going to have a big setup at their Greater Earth Performance new setup uh -huh. in okay. Brentwood. So. so you can stop there and get some things you yeah, might need. Yeah, maybe some water, just mostly motivation, just right. to see some faces at the end. Right. That's all I really need. Okay, awesome. So you run a lot, from what I understand. <laughs> Off and on, yeah. <laughs> um, what number of marathon is this for you? Do you have any idea how this, many you've run? This will be five. Okay. I kind of took a break last year. Uh huh. I did about five half marathons. That's taking a break. Uh huh. And, <laughs> And um, focus mainly on speed because I was getting faster uh -huh. and I knew running marathons after marathon wouldn't help my speed. Right. So I knew if I focused mainly on the shorter distances, okay. then that would help improve my marathon. So what is your goal for this marathon? Is to get a PR? Yeah. Um, I've kind of hit a new gear okay. of speed these past couple of months, mostly oh, nice. due to CrossFit. Oh, nice. And it's really helped my endurance, my lung capacity. Uh huh. And so the last marathon I ran was a 431, mm -hmm. which I know I'm going to surpass. Uh huh. Nice. So <laughs> plan A is 405. Okay. Plan B would just be a 359. Right. That would be great. Break four. Yeah. Yeah, so again, it's going to be challenging this year because of the heat. Yeah, definitely. Because so. we've been having really cool weather. There's right. some mornings where it's been like 35, 36. Right. So now it's like 80s, I know. 77, something like that. So I would encourage all of you who are planning to go for a PR at this race, just kind of temper your expectations and make sure you definitely take care of your body and yep. hydrate well. Definitely. Uh, probably want to start off slow, even though I know it's cooler in the beginning and you kind of want to get as much mileage in as possible, but the heat will take its toll, make your body work harder, your heart work rate work harder. So just be careful and temper your expectations about getting a, a PR in such, um, it's expected to be really hot now on the day of the marathon. So we're at a light right now and we're entering into <laughs> Santa Monica. Let's see, you can tell by the, the yellow and pink signs I mean, yellow and blue signs that it's Santa Monica. There's a sign over there, but you can't see And there's a sign, a welcome <laughs> sign over there on the right, but we can't see it right now. So, um, so tell us about some of the 
some of the things you've learned from training for the marathon like some of the obstacles you've overcome personally by training for marathons you can always go harder and farther than you think you can uh -huh. that's definitely one big thing that i've learned uh -huh. that your mind will give out before your body does and i tell this to everybody right if you can just overcome that mentality mm -hmm. that i'm done i can't do this if you can just find a way to distract yourself right so how do you distract yourself um i definitely listen to music okay and um i like to look at people around me i like to look at what shoes they're wearing what okay. shirts they're wearing uh -huh. and i like to pick out people and be like okay in a couple miles i'm gonna pass this person right and just see how all those marks yeah <laughs> And then I know one friend, um, she does triathlons. Uh -huh. She told me one of the ways she gets out of her head is every mile, she finds someone to pray about or think oh, about. Oh, wow. Okay. Or just something every mile. Right. I thought that was a cool idea. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a great idea sometimes to get out of your own head and really kind of think about, you know, it's not just about you. Right. Who else are you running for? Who are you inspiring? It could be just your family. It doesn't have to be a charity or anything major like that. Mm -hmm. It could just be, you know, by me continuing to push myself, who else could I be inspiring, you know? Not only just for your own personal growth. And sometimes it's easier to do things for other people than it is for ourselves. Definitely. So that's a great plan to yeah. kind of start thinking about others. <clears throat> And then it's not just about you anymore. It makes right. it a little bit easier. Because you didn't do this journey by yourself. I mean, for right. me personally, I don't think I did a single long run by myself. I uh -huh. always had someone there with me. Right. And even on this marathon, I'm almost positive my husband's going to pace me. He's going to okay. run with me. Oh, and that's so nice. you're never alone. <laughs> that's one of the best right. things about being with the club or running right. with friends. Uh -huh. You're never alone. Yeah. And that's the main theme of the marathon this year is about unification of the city you know even if you're not running the marathon i encourage you to come out and cheer for those who are cheer for the uh potential olympians on saturday as they try to represent us in rio and um also the the people who are running the la marathon on sunday they really need your support it really helps them the energy helps them keep going definitely and get out of their own heads and uh, <laughs> so we're running, we're getting pretty close to the end of mile 23. And oh, look! A little piggy! Look, look, oh! Everybody loves this side. Uh, <laughs> you never know what you're going to see when you're out running. <laughs> so that's <laughs> guy out rock walking his pig. <laughs> Only in LA. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, Laura, so be some advice you give to people who are running the LA Marathon uh, for the first time this year? Be conservative at the beginning because LA is not an easy course. Right. It's probably one of the hardest courses I've ran. Uh huh. Just because at mile four, right outside Blue Park. Uh huh. <laughs> Just outside Chinatown. Uh huh. And then Walt Disney Concert Hall. Right. You've got these hills. Right. And a lot of people think, I feel good. I'm going to power through this. Right. Guess what? You're not going to have that energy at mile 18, mile right. 20, because that's when you hit the wall. Right. So all I say is be conservative at the beginning. Get through the half marathon at Hollywood. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then mile 18, mile 20, just realize you're almost done. Mm -hmm. 10K left. Right. That's all you got to do, and you'll be there. You know, that's great advice for our veteran runners, too, because even... Even though, like, people who are experienced, we tend to get sucked into that, you know, adrenaline rush. Race day energy. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, you feel unstoppable. And that's great. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to be unstoppable for 26, 22 miles. So, right. <laughs> definitely. And then in the heat, too, just be more conservative with your energy in the beginning. And then, by all means, go all out at the end. But yeah. you got to get to the end. Because it's all downhill. Right. At the end. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty nice too, and there's a lot more trees, so there might be a little tiny bit more shade yeah. at this part of the race too. Um, so tell us about what uh, the people in your group, how many of you are running the marathon? I, um, think. I think there's about four or five. Uh-huh. 
are any of them about your same pace or are you going to um, be running? I said, you said you might be running with your husband. Yeah, anybody else you might be um, running with? Not that I know of. A okay. lot of people are faster than me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, my husband's been dealing with a lot of plantar fasciitis, so oh, he, okay. would be, he would be running faster, uh -huh. but he's going to slow down, run with me, uh -huh. me. But okay. no, we've got a lot of fast people. Right. A lot of Boston uh, qualifiers are wow. trying to beat Boston qualifiers, uh -huh. so I mean, my goal is just to keep up with them on uh, Wednesday and Sunday mornings. And, right, they're, they're awesome yeah. people to train with. <laughs> and then I got to do my own thing. Right. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, well, we're pretty much already here. So I just want to leave us with some inspiring words that you can give to everybody who is running the, the race this weekend. You know, some people are starting to freak out about the heat mm -hmm. and actually the fact that it's getting close. You know, like the night before, you're gonna have tons of nerves, yeah. things like that. How do you deal with that? It's not the end of all ends. Okay. Um, it's just another race. Uh huh. And something that some of my old instructors used to tell me: TYT, trust your technique, trust your training. Right. If you've trained for it, right, then you're ready. That's great advice. If you have it, just do your best. Uh huh. Be safe. Right. There's always another one. Right. Okay. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. But I want to thank my. Wonderful guest Lori for running with me today and telling us all about her experiences on mile 23. We want to wish, wish her good luck at the race and enjoy it, have fun, and we'll be certainly to, to look out for you out there in your run MDR shirt. And we will see you guys tomorrow for mile 24 at noon. And if you have any running or racing questions between now and then, please tweet me at GreenRunnerLA or email me at GreenRunnerLA.com. And until then, keep running, everybody.